Welcome back to my channel. So this video is something exciting that I've been waiting for. My car is running again, finally. After four months of waiting for headers, I got them in, got them on. So that's what this video is going to be about. My car, finally. So I didn't even do the YouTube stuff back when my car ran last time. I've taken the track three times this year and I wasn't doing anything on YouTube back then. So I'll put a couple of those passes in and time slips. And then kind of just give you the rundown of the car. But thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. At 500 likes, I'm going to do a giveaway. Give away some shirts, some stickers, and some other stuff. At 750, I'll do it again. And at 1,000, I'll give away some shirts, hoodies, stickers, and HP, HP tuners to one person. So thanks for watching. Share the video, comment below, and make sure you click that like and subscribe. spark plugs out and get the headers going on sorry like normal of course I'm doing laundry as I'm do work in the garage so got the washer running got the first one on maybe we'll take this to the track tonight I don't know yet still kind of upset about yesterday and destroying a brand new tire got the passenger side in all I gotta do let me turn the fan up Got the passenger side in. All I gotta do is just zip it down real quick, throw the O2 sensors in, and then connect it to the mufflers. So I got both headers in. Uh, went to put the O2 sensors in and realized I have no idea where my O2 socket is. I think it's in my wife's car, but she's not here, so I'm gonna go to the store, buy another O2 socket. That way we can turn this thing on. So as I was going to leave, she pulled up, so. Don't have to go buy a new one. So you know, on top of waiting for over four months for my headers to come in, this is my old X pipe. Got the new X pipe on the car, the mid pipes. You know, I'm not a genius, but you know, this says right side. So right side would be the passenger side. 
left side would be driver's side. So see how the tabs are on the outside. Those should be on the inside. Also, if we were to hook these up, put the tabs up, they come in. If we flip them around, to where they bend kind of the right way, the tabs are down. And then, I'm not a genius, but see how this one comes up and then angles in to connect to the muffler. This one's a straight pipe. Like it bends and then goes straight. I have no idea how to hook a straight when it should be bent like this. It should mirror this one. I'll go into the car. I end up using the old mid pipe with the new X pipe. And I'll show you what it should look like. Everything's bolted up under the car, so just got to toss the wide band in and go drive it. Only the best. I just got to mount that. I'm going to take the old wide band off, get rid of that. And this I'll probably put where the ashtray goes. It's a bit dusty, but it moves. We're gonna go ahead and take this thing up, filled up with some 85s and see how it drives now. Driving. So we just got to fit up with the 85 from the great gas station and sheets. So I'm gonna go do a little bit more logging and drive home and that's it for today. But it runs, it runs pretty good, it drives pretty good. Not overheating, staying cool, keeping good oil pressure. That's the muffler's closed. I don't know if you'll both tell, but that's them open now. But we're heading home. Exhaust shut, it's nice. It's nice and quiet in here. Got the windows down and can still hardly hear the car. Especially at like low RPM or low mile per hour, that's when drones bad. Like, well, I made it back fine, drove good, no issues, no complaints, still a little tuning. Can't wait to get to the track now. That's the muffler that's closed when it idles. That's open. It's Cook's two inch mufflers, Cook's X pipe, mid pipe, three inch, back to the stock two and a half inch MPP mufflers with the mild to wild switch so I can open it. When I took the car apart, this of course broke in half. So I got a new one, go ahead and replace that, I guess. Brand new, straight from GM. Go get this put in now. Like everything else, it just pops in. Yeah, adjust this a little bit. But it's in, looks way better. That bothered me a lot, how it was just missing. 
so I bought one of these heat shield things. So I'm wrapping the trans line around that just because it was really close to the header and the trans was a little hotter than it normally is yesterday. So I'm just going to throw that on there and we done. <laughs>